Hello everybody and this is excelmadeeasy.pb.com for you bringing in today the sum if formula. Well I'm your excel guru and today I'll be teaching you the sum if formula. Well this is a wonderful formula. It helps you to add up uh, the count the sums in a, in a range. It, it helps in actually adding up the total of the sum of the cells in a range based on a particular criteria. Alright, before we proceed to that, to the summary formula, uh, I'd just like to tell you that this training file that you're seeing is an Excel downloadable file available on my website, excelmadeeasy.weebly.com. This is a free website where you can download this file for free. I'll show you the website. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, which I'll talk about later. All right. Now, what you can do is just go to the home page. Yes, this is my website. I created it myself. All right. What you can do is just go to the training files page. Click over here, and all these files are available for free download, so that you can follow along, practice along, or just keep them for reference. Those three files are there for you. All right. So now, once you go to the tab uh, page. If you like it, all right. Uh, there are the social networking icons over there. Tweet or could share it on Facebook, anything you want. But spread the word if you like it. All right. Now, so coming to my summary formula, the wonderful formula, as I said again. So I would be teaching this formula in two ways. The first way, my favorite way, which is the by entering the formula syntax into a cell that is a formula and the second one going to the formula tab clicking on the fx feature yes 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 i'll do it so this is how we'll do it i have already calculated some results so we'll check what to do okay apple and g r a p e s grapes so see let's see over here what do we have all right this is the name of the products apple banana pineapple grapes mango all right, this is the date on which say these the, uh, specific quantities of these products were sold. Let's see, Apple was sold 23 times. Now what is this, 23 kgs or 23 pieces? Never know. Say if this was pieces, then what is this, grapes 65 pieces? Who in the world sells grapes by pieces? So this might be kgs, <laughs> so just joking. So what we don't want, uh, say, if you wanted to check, he out of this range, uh, what was the total quantity? of apple sold see apple is here once twice yes twice grapes is once twice and twice so we need to check what is it called how many times grapes or apples were sold so let's see the first way of doing it is the any formula in excel starts with an is equal to sum sum if if bracket open see it says range select the range so the range would be the range wherein the name of the product is mentioned all right then comes comma then the criterion we can type in the criterion we all we need to do is semicolon open say we are searching for apple send we type in apple semicolon close comma again then the sum range this is the actual range which has to be summed upon all right I close the bracket again and enter and voila you have the answer 30 let's just check ourselves apple was sold here once 23 times okay 23 quantity and then apple 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 again here it is 7 so 23 plus 7 is 30 so the answer is right so that's good now see nice formula no? it can help you a lot and uh, now I'll teach you the other way we'll go to the formula tab We'll click on the FX function. 
and we'll type in some if search for a function some if click on go all right here you see some if you see all these formulas you see over here some ifs if the sum count if count ifs all i'll teach some sorry count if to i have already teaching uh, taught sorry so i'll click on okay the range as we said is the range of the cells you want evaluated so this is the range i click over here criteria as it says is the condition or criteria in the form of a number expression or text that defines which cells will be added so i want the condition to be grapes this time so here it comes grapes and the sum range are the actual cells to sum so these are the actual cells to sum i press enter and you get the answer grapes 86 so that's the answer it's a wonderful formula to work with do keep on trying if there is anything do get back to me and i'll be glad to help you on further now if you see you can go to my youtube channel also you can click on my website this image over here you click over here it will take you to my youtube channel where all my videos are loaded all right you can subscribe to it by clicking over here once you do it you will have to either sign in or sign up and then you can you will be notified every time I post in a new video, which I, I try to do every day. And do mention your comments. I would love to see comments. If there is anything I can do to improve upon, I really love. Alright, or you can even post your questions over here. You can view all the videos by going to this playlist mode. Yes, see, all the videos are here. So, this was it. You can also go to my home page. Now there is this wonderful thing, ask a question page that I made. If you click over here, if you have any doubts over here, for MS Excel or something you would like me to help you on, you can just type in the details and I'll help you out. So this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Today we did the summary formula, hope you liked it. Have a wonderful time ahead. Happy Excel learning.